Welcome friends to another unboxing video. This will be a special special episode on Christmas. This box contains probably the most expensive fountain pen set in my collection and I am uh, quite excited to share it with you. Sorry, I will close this uh, little lamp. I don't know guys, this is my holy holy grail. I've been searching this fountain pen almost from uh, 2018, so I collect fountain pens from 2017 and I've been searching for this pen for over two, two and a half years. It is quite a special pen, uh, uh, but the bonus is it's not just a pen, but is it is a set. I am talking about a famous fountain pen from the 1950s. Some collectors consider it the greatest German fountain pen of the 1950s. So you know that I'm a great fan of German fountain pens from the 50s. And this is quite, quite a rare fountain pen. I think I will tell you the price. Well, I paid for this set 1,677 lays which means I paid for this set 344 euros or 419 American dollars. You must know about me that I'm not a wealthy collector and I hardly pay more than 100 euros for a fountain pen. But when I pay uh, this sum, so uh, three times or maybe even four times the sum which I am comfortable paying for a fountain pen, well, uh, this time I went over my limit budget and I had to do some um, hard uh, <laughs> bargainings and uh, trades to acquire the sum of money. For me, it's a great financial effort. And I've searched on the internet, on YouTube, there is not a single review of this wonderful, wonderful fountain pen. I'm not telling you the name of the producer. It is a German producer. Unfortunately, it uh, closed its gates in the 1960s. But this is a top product of them from the early 1950s. So guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> and I'm uh, almost trembling. Uh, <laughs> just definitely excited. Definitely, definitely excited. So I have here my trusted knife. And I will um, unbox it. Okay. I've seen uh, some little, yes. So I would unbox it from this part, yes. Okay. Glow lasting cream hair color. So the seller sent me in this box. And of course I will ruin it, but uh, stay with me. Okay, so I will leave this aside. And let's see the content of this. Okay, it's secured here. Okay. Guys, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited and oh, heavy, heavy, heavy. Uh, the seller told me that it um, it comes uh, not in its original box, but it appears it is a box of um, glasses, eye glasses. Okay, and it's quite well wrapped. So in order for it to be secure, I guess. Okay, so let me try to to peel this off without damaging the box. Let me see if I can do it. Yes, I can. <sighs> Guys, I, 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 I don't know if it shows in my voice, but I'm uh, excited and uh, what Christmas special, what a Christmas special episode. For me, it's uh, more than Christmas morning. I hope that uh, it is in good shape in the pictures. It was wonderful. And um, what can I say? I'm, I'm excited beyond words. OK, 
can describe. And uh, this uh, stickers, I hate them because <laughs> it uh, it um... come on, come on, come on! I want to see the beauties. Oh. Finally, yes. Let me. Okay. Guys, I'm. Oh. And yes. Yes, 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 yes. I believe this leather pouch is an original leather pouch from. Let me see if it's. No. From Shonaken, guys. And let me reveal the surprise. You already know the producer, the famous producer Shonaken, the German producer. And look, look at those beauties. Okay, so this leather etui, it is from Shonaken, but you can see the model is 362. Instead, it comes with this set. And I'm so, so excited, guys. I'm quite, quite excited. So I will leave the Etui here. Sean, I can Etui. So, guys, I present to you the famous Sean, 111 extra, the large size in this beautiful, beautiful celluloid material. Okay, let's focus. Okay, so let's put them aside because I want to show you the other Shoneken that you probably saw on my channel. So this is a Shoneken 116 from the 1940s and this is the line, cigar-shaped line from the 1950s. And maybe it is um, better as a comparison to show you uh, 146 a masterpiece and you can see they are similar shaped of course the famous dome shape of the of the Mont Blanc 146 it looks like this and on a shuriken it looks like this we have the famous famous faceted clip of the shuriken in comparison with the um, Quite a classic clip from the Meisterstück of 146 from the early 50s. And uh, these are the two fountain pens compared. Of course, as a matter of comparison, let's take out also a modern fountain pen. This is a Pelican Souvron M800, so you can see them side by side. Why not? Let's check out the beautiful beautiful nib of the Shonaken and I will put this pelican and why not let's check out also the beautiful beautiful nib of the Mont Blanc and let's give them a zoom and look look at, the, at those beauties but i want to show you the patina look at the patina of the shoniken it is wonderful wonderful it is like an old mirror you know those fancy ones from italy that have that patina of time of course look at the beautiful nib from the mont blanc also from the 1950s and the nib in the middle is from 1987 and 1988. They are all 14 karat gold names. Of course, the Mont Blanc and the Pelican have a two tone uh, gold nib, and this is a simple gold nib. Let's check out also the Ebonite feeds. And uh, we have a ski slope, ski slope type feed. We have a ebonite feed. Uh, at the pelican, we have a plastic one. And let's leave them aside. And let's see those 
So on the Ebonite of the Shonaken, we have written BBS. Yes, I think it's BBS, but um, I sincerely don't know yet. Uh, so double broad and what the S is for. It refers uh, to the measurement of the nib. And yes, it appears that it is an oblique nib, as you can see. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Of course, on the writing sample, oh, and I have here. So the, this is a personalization and it writes Bundes Adred Bucher. But I don't know. I don't know. Bucher, it's a library. Okay, D-A-V. So guys, I will certainly look um, for this information when I will do the full review of this wonderful, wonderful set. I'm quite, quite pleased of it. Uh, it is beyond my expectations. And I think I got a deal at this price. Maybe some of you think that uh, I paid lots for this. Uh... So, Shonaken eight, uh, 11, sorry. Shonaken 11. I believe this is a mechanic pencil and the same DAV Bundes Adres Bucher. Maybe it's like a yellow pages. I don't know. Look at the beautiful, beautiful clip. I don't know if this is functional. Let me open it for you. I don't know if I can manage to open it. Now it appears it's stuck and um, I don't know how it opens, but I will certainly give it a look. Now I'm um, so excited that I can barely hold the fountain pens. I'm uh, shaking and sorry for that guys. But this, this is truly, truly, truly a good, good fountain pen, my grail pen. And uh, I've made myself a little gift this year in this pandemic times. You realize that you only live once, so you must uh, <laughs> buy what you like in this life because it, um, in a way, it's a short life. <sighs> Guys, these are my beauties. This is a truly interesting unboxing for Christmas, and I hope you've um, enjoyed it. And I hope you are as um, excited as I am. But uh, you must be, because I promise you a great, great review of this set. It really cost me a lot of money, and I want to show you that it deserves every little penny I paid for them every liter euro cents i paid for them this is my passion german fountain pens from the 1950s and believe me this is an iconic fountain pen from the 1950s it has a quite special piston with the click system and uh, i will get into details when i do the full review and some of um, the pen collectors consider this a greater model than even the meisterstuck of uh, that time so remember that uh, the 149 and the 146 they came out to market in the early 50s and they were masterpieces so um capolavoro or um works of art they contained the best technology and the best materials that uh, that um manufacturer was proud of so the shonaken came out in the 1950s with a direct competitor for the meisterstuck line and uh, it came out with this model it certainly has those uh, celluloid patterns that are uh, not as boring as the black mont blanc of course, the black one with the gold trims were quite popular in German in those uh, days. And this came to a market uh, 
intended, I believe it was intended also for the internal market, but also for the export market, because the foreigners really loved those um, colorful celluloid patterns. And this, this is a beautiful, beautiful pattern. I don't know if the lighting shows you, but look, 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 look closely at them. It is quite, quite nice. There are different, different shades in the pattern. Oh God. So I'm, I'm really, really excited about this buy. It is the most uh, expensive set that uh, I own. And I believe its value is uh, more than uh, only 344 euros. So I want to thank the seller for giving me this great opportunity to own this fabulous, fabulous set. And I also thanked him. I want to thank him for this Shoneken Etui. Maybe one day I will find the model 362 to match this beautiful, beautiful um, leather Etui. Of course, I will have to find a set. So guys, I will leave you right now because I want to play with my new toys. I want to clean them as good as I can. And I want to brag on the social networks for my new acquisition. In the end, I want to thank all my subscribers. It's been a rough year for all of us, a pandemic year. But as a paradox, it was a great year for me because I ha finally had the time to open my YouTube channel. So um, maybe when this video will air, I will reach my target of uh, 1000 subscribers. And it was a great journey. I want to thank each and every one of you that are uh, viewing this video. It really helps me a lot in my um, pursuit for the perfect fountain pen. I know it's, it doesn't exist, the perfect fountain pen. It's all an illusion. But uh, it's not the destination, but the journey, as they say. And um, each of these wonderful and loving, loving little pieces of history, the history of fountain pens, of course, they um, bring me joy to my life. And this is my hobby. This is my passion. And I want to thank you for all your support, guys. As always, I wish you to have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas, wherever you are. Have a wonderful day. And uh, if you have, you are not a subscriber, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me a lot. What can I say, guys? I wish you a new year in 2021, a productive year. Just search for your dreams. Do everything you can with passion. And believe me, all will come to you if you put passion and a little bit of work and time in everything that you do. So... Um, I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful, wonderful unboxing. It wasn't, uh, it, it is an experience for me. And every time I open a box, uh, it feels like Christmas, but this time it really is Christmas. And uh, uh, I'm speechless. Look at that beauty. Uh, look, uh, whoa, I am a lucky person and I want to thank all my sellers that provide me with these beauties at relatively low costs. And I want to thank all of you that uh, watch my videos. Thank you very much. See you at the next episode. And bye bye, my friends.